Greetings class, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I wanted to spend some time today talking about details. And details are the art of writing. If you want to get really good at this, it all comes down to details. And the first type of detail are sensory. Um, that would be sight, sound, smell, touch, taste. Those are important. I think a lot of people when they write, they get the sight down. But they, they fail to get the other things down, which just makes a story or poem richer. So if you could describe what something sounds like, what a chair feels like, what an air conditioner feels like, <clears throat> what something tastes like, you're on a whole new level of writing. That, that's how you take writing to the next level. So if I'm describing my room right now, what it looks like, it's a little bit dark. It's messy. I just came back from Montana and my room looks like, looks like waste dump. This looks horrible. Right now, it's very, very messy. My bed is not made. I have suitcases with clothes thrown everywhere. I've been doing a lot of comedy in different states and my room is a disaster right now. That's what it looks, I'm being honest. What does my room sound like? Um, there's a fan in the distance and it fell one too many times and it kind of clinks a little bit when it spins, which is kind of annoying. Um, other than that, the room sounds a bit sterile, almost like a doctor's office with the exception of the fan. How does my room feel? Um, my bed is soft. I love my bed. It's very soft. Um, just absorbs my body. Um, um, it's very hot in my room right now. The heat. <clears throat> it's, we're in a heat wave right now. It's very, very hot. I'm kind of sweating just talking right now. Um, what does my room... Um, sight, sound, taste, smell. My room smells like coffee. My room always smells like coffee. I love to burn incense. So my room always smells like incense and candles. Whenever I write, I have a candle. And I write all the time, so my room always smells like candles. Coffee. That's how my room smells. Tastes a little bit different. Um, if you could get taste into a story, you're on another level. And so one time I wrote a story about my best friend. And obviously, I don't, I'm not going to describe what my best friend tastes like. That's kind of disgusting, right? That, people don't want to know that. <laughs> But I could associate taste with my friend. I could say my friend liked to drink Ginnelling Black and Tan beer with mint, mint, school, mint school tobacco. So by putting those tastes in, I'm associating that with my friend. Does that make sense? So if I describe something that in my room, I describe the coffee. I like black coffee. I like it strong to the point where it gives your stomach acid. <laughs> it, it, it tastes like, like, it tastes like if steroids became in a liquid form that you could drink, that's what my coffee tastes like. It's very strong. I love strong coffee. But I I want you guys, if you guys want to become really good at this, it's doing a lot of what we just said. And I, I said the other day that writing is about observing. And that's the art. If you can get that into writing, you're on another level. You're on a Pulitzer level. And we, we got to practice that. I have some activities I want to do with you guys. Um, in terms of detail, there's also something called subjective details and objective details. Now, subjective details are based off your opinion. So if I said my room is messy, right, which I did, some people would disagree. They say your room looks pretty neat. You have to be crazy to be that way. <laughs> that would be somebody's opinion, right? If I said my room is dark, some people would say, no, your room is light, right? So it's your opinion. My room smells like coffee. Somebody might say, no, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like coffee. Those are all subjective. That's opinion-based. We also have fact-based. I like to get fact-based details in whenever I can. If I said my room is hot, that's subjective. But if I said my room is 85 degrees, that's a fact. You can't argue with that. If I said my room has four walls, you can't argue with that. If I said it's, um, what, um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you can't argue with that, right? So those are fact-based details fact-based and, and um if you can make those two types of details in it just makes your writing stronger because some readers like those fact-based objective details and some readers like the subjective based details and if you can fit both of those in i think you just become a better writer all around and then lastly we have simile and metaphor these are the heart the heart of writing the heart of poetry i remember pablo neruda one of my favorite poets he would always talk about metaphors that he would live in metaphors and both are comparisons. A simile is using like or as. It's just using those words, like or as. So if I said my room is hot like an oven, I used like, and I made a comparison. I compared my room to an oven using like. If I said my room is as dirty as a trash dump, right? The, the word there is as, that would be a simile. 
Now, a metaphor would not be using those words, not using like or as, it'd just be um, a comparison. I could say my room reminds me of a trash dump. That would be a metaphor. And so I would work on getting these ideas in your writing, whether you're writing a poem, whether you're writing a short story, whether, whether you're writing a play, any of that, it doesn't matter. These details matter. So I, I think if we're going to do creative writing, we have to get into this lesson. It's very, very important. And I have some activities I'd like to do with you guys as well to, to work on this. So thank you for listening.